Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Meiring bringing you another video uh, about your calculus and uh, this in this video, hello, we are going to be looking at the proof of the inverse trigonometric uh, derivative, the inverse sine, inverse tangent of x. Uh, if you looked at the recent video, inverse sine of x is very similar in nature. Uh, this one's actually a little bit more simple. So uh, we'll be looking through this very quickly to try to figure out uh, one way to show the proof that the derivative inverse tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And so to start with that, once again, we'll start with y equals the inverse tangent of x. So this is your function, inverse tangent of x, and we're going to try to derive it. Now we don't know a lot about what, I mean we're trying to prove what the derivative inverse tangent is, so I can't start with that. So I'm going to do the tangent on both sides to end up with the tangent of y equals x. And so uh, that is now a new representation of this function. So then as we derive, we will use implicit differentiation where uh, y is its own function. And so the derivative of y will be dy dx, and we're going to multiply by the derivative of tangent of something, which we do know is the secant squared of that something. And that will equal 1, the derivative of x. So to solve for dy dx, which is what we want, we end up with dy dx equals 1 over secant squared of y. And if you looked at the inverse sine uh, r movie, you will have seen the, this sort of familiar format where we want to try to find some way to write secant squared in not terms of y, because I have it in terms of x and that's how we started, so that's what we want to uh, keep it with. So how do we end up writing that is uh, another Pythagorean theorem example where uh, you, you know that from your other classes that the secant squared of y equals tangent squared of y plus 1. So uh, secant squared of y equals tangent squared of y plus 1. And that's exactly what we want where we have secant squared of y. That's what this is down here. So you can plug that in down here. And so instead we have dy dx, I'll do this in red now, as 1 over, instead of secant squared, I'll do tangent squared of y plus 1. Now you might say, well, I was trying to get it out in terms of y, and this is still in terms of y. That doesn't do me any good. And you're right if I leave it there. But what we can look at is that we have a tangent squared of y, and we have a tangent squared, we have a tangent of y up here. So if we look at this uh, statement, and I square both sides, we have tangent squared of y equals x squared if you square both sides there. So that will go in for that tangent of squared y down here. And so I'll write this one last time where the dy dx, the derivative that we're looking for, equals 1 over, not tangent squared anymore, but now we're going to call it x squared, x squared plus 1. Uh, and we typically write as 1 plus x squared, but that would be your proof then as to why the derivative inverse tangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So hopefully that helps you see that your derivative of the inverse functions and um, also with the inverse sine is a very similar thing so you can check out that video if you'd like as well.